Hello I am Art Invader and welcome to my tutorial. Maybe you already know me. I am a digital artist from Berlin, Germany. I regularly post my art and short tutorials on my social media channels. Feel free to check them out. You can find the link in the caption. I want to turn my passion into a profession. Therefore it would be nice if you support me on Patreon. There you will find the project files to my YouTube tutorials. For a small financial surcharge, you also get access to my 3D models, which I use in my art. Thank you for your help. Today I show you how to create this custom devil head in Cinema 4D. In the first part of the video, I will show you how to sculpt and animate the head in Cinema 4D. In the bonus part of the video, I will explain how I edit my animations with Adobe After Effects. Let's get started Art Invaders imports the 3D head by drag and drop into Cinema 4D. You will find the link to the head in the caption. Then switch to the sculpt mode. Press on the right side in the layer directory on object to be able to select the head. First we use the grab tool. If you click on it, you can change the size of the tool. In order to be able to symmetrize the head, we have to go to the menu item symmetry. There we put a check mark at X. Please note. You have to set this for each tool separately. Then I do the following steps with the grab tool. With the smooth tool I remove unsightly corners. With the inflate tool I blow up the lips and the cheekbones a little bit. That's it, now select subdivision surface in the top bar. Now you can adjust more things. Now go back to the standard mode. Now we create the horns. Select the cone object at the top of the bar. For height select 7 cm and for bottom radius 1 cm. For height and rotation segments we select 50. To bend the horn we now take the bend deformer. Place the deformer under the cone object. Now press the fit to parent button. Under the value strength you can bend the horn. I choose 70 degrees. The horn is ready. Duplicate it and place it on the head. Now we create the collar. Select a tube object. For inner radius we select 5 cm, outer radius 6 cm and height 3 cm. For height segments we select 30 and press fillet around the corners. Now we create the spines. Select again a cone object. For height we select 5 cm and for bottom radius 0, 75 cm. For orientation we choose minus x. Now we select cloner in the top bar. At mode we select radial, for count we select 10 and for radius 7 cm. Under transform we can adjust the angle of the spikes. Under rotation H we enter minus 90 degrees and now everything is correct. Now we come to the material. Create a new material by double click. We only need the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and then add and insert a new Beckman layer. Set the value of specular strength to 0% and roughness to 20. The first material is ready, you can drag it to all objects. Now select sky in the top bar. So that we can see something, we have to create a new material. Drag it onto the sky. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under texture you can insert a picture of your choice. I choose an old graphic of mine. After that we press again on the arrow next to the texture and select layer. Now press on the image and click on image. There I insert HDRI map and set the blending mode to overlay. At Patreon you can find the complete project file, 
I link you the account in the caption. So that the eyes are dark, we now select two spheres and place them in the head. The radius is 3 cm. Now we create a new material. Here we only need the color channel. Under color we choose the color black. Now we come to the animation. Extend the duration of the animation to 5 seconds. Select the cloner and go to the coordinates. Set the slider to the beginning of the animation and set a keyframe at rotation H. Now move the slider to the end of the animation and enter 360 degrees at rotation H and set a keyframe again. Now select the sky and go to the menu item coordinates. Set a keyframe at rotation B by pressing on the point. Then move the animation slider to the end of the animation. Enter 360 degrees and press the point again. Now the sky rotates once around its own axis. Make the animation run in the same speed you have to select Tim line of curve in the top bar window. Select the sky and cloner curve and press the linear button. Now we come to the render settings. Press the button with the cogwheel at the top of the bar. Under render or select physical. Select a suitable format and select frame range all frames. So that we don't see the sky during rendering, we have to set the following three hooks under save. So that we get the file later with a transparent background, we have to save the animation after rendering as PNG files. Finally we add all the elements to the subdivision surface. That's it, the animation is ready to render. In the next part of the video I will show you how I edit the animation with Adobe After Effects. Please note. I use basic effects in Adobe After Effects, there are no plugins. Some effects are in English in Adobe After Effects and some are in your native language. I don't know what's the reason is, but you can try to search for the effect in your languages, if you can't find the effect I use. By double clicking in the layer window you can paste the finished PNG sequence into Adobe After Effects, it can happen that the graphic is displayed darker than it is, this is caused by the gamma value. To fix this problem search for color and gamma conversion in the effects window, under gamma conversion select linear to sRGB. Then look for the effect hue slash saturation. With a wheel you can change the color. I turn it to minus 11. There you choose under master saturation the value 30. Then duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to multiply. Press the T key and set the opacity to 20%. Then select the bottom layer and search for the effect edge glow. There we set a check mark at colorize and select a color from the animation at tint color. After that we search for the effect diffuse glow and set threshold to 85. Finally we search for the effect drop shadow. To make the shadow lie evenly behind the animation, we set distance to 0. Also we increase the range with softness 50. Now I work with overlays, first I add a background and font that I created before with Photoshop. At the end I add a destroy overlay and set the blending mode to lighten. Now we match all color values. For this we press Command plus A in the layer window and then we click with the right mouse button and choose Pre-Compose. Then search for Auto Color, Auto Contrast and Auto Levels. In each of these effects set Blend with Original to 75%. Now we make a Prefect loop out of the animation. Press the right mouse button in the Preview window and select Composition Settings. There we double the animation duration. Then we duplicate our composition. There we press with the right mouse button on it, go to time and select time reverse layer. The composition now runs backwards and can be moved to the end of the animation. The animation is ready, well done Artis, 
Thanks for the positive feedback. This month there are 4 tutorials per week as a thank you. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1 to 2 tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.